Yuck. This is fuel? Could be. Live fuel say they can turn algae into biodiesel. About a, an acre pond is good for about 10,000 gallons a year, they think. That's a lot. Yeah, it's going to take a couple of years. You know, it's a little bit in the experimental phase, but uh, I think they can pull it off. I want to see this. Let's go look. We're making the world's most natural oil, or as a friend of ours said, nature gives us crude oil, we're making cultured oil. And what really happens is most of the petroleum in your gas tank was algae millions of years ago. Algae got deposited in organic materials, got heated by the Earth's mantle, and now we're tapping it as petroleum. So we're, we're tapping ancient sunlight, and what we're now trying to do is to stop tapping the old carbon that we sequestered mm -hmm. and grow it outside. And it will make vegetable oil, which will float to the surface of the pond, and then you have a spillover tank, and it falls in there, and boom, you keep using present-day carbon. Make it a nice neutral cycle. What you're seeing here is what most algae companies right. are doing, which is working with strains to find out mm -hmm. what do the algae like, what do they need, what can we grow. but. The trouble is this is a very low margin product. We have to make this stuff for about a dollar a gallon. And that means we've got to grow it outside because you can't build labs big enough, cheaply enough, right. to make algal oil that cheaply. Right. Now when you take this, let's say you made petroleum out of, out of algae, you would put it in a car, it would still give off CO2 and things like that and, and certain pollutants, but it's carbon neutral because then your next crop of algae would be sucking that CO2 out of the atmosphere. Bingo. And, and, if, and if we don't use all of the algae body, right. if we don't completely cause it to become a fuel, you've still got that little algae body which has some carbon in it and wherever it goes, whether it's into the soil or other, you have put some CO2 down. Are you talking to uh, oil companies right now uh, at you all? You betcha. Okay. Yeah. I mean, any partnerships in the inkling? Are they more interested in the science of... Oh, uh, most of them are, have something yeah. of a wait and see attitude. Um, this is a tough nut for the petroleum right. companies because, you know, it kind of cannibalizes their business right. and they desperately need oil, but there's nobody who looks like they can generate a billion barrels. And then if it's under a billion barrels, the petroleum companies are like, why are you bothering me? Do you ma genetically manipulate any of the algae or do you think that's going to be part of the, the future of the business? We certainly will uh, do some genetic manipulation. Ideally what you do is you start with native strains and you do some genetic mm -hmm. work on them so that you clearly understand the pathways that are triggered when you get oils. Mm -hmm. And then you do what's known as directed evolution, which is, okay, you, we know what we're aiming for. We'll just do hybrid breeding. And the goal here is to evolve over the next four years to 100 million gallons by 2010.